Our second step to making out our cross-country flight plan is going to be to obtain the weather. So we're going to call the flight service station at 1-800-WX-BRIEF, which is 1-800-992-7433. Give them our information, and then the flight service station will give us all of our information about the weather. So we expect it to come out in a particular sequence. Usually they're going to give us the adverse conditions and TFRs, pilot reports, they give us the synopsis, which is where the pressure systems and fronts are. They usually give us the current conditions at our departure, en route, and destination. And then they give the forecast conditions for the departure and the destination. Then they usually give us some sort of area forecast, which is just kind of an overview of all the weather. And then they'll give us the winds aloft, and then finally any notums pertaining to the airports that we intend to use today. So let's go ahead and call the flight service station on our 1-800-WX-BRIEF. Light is flight service. Hi, this is November 870 Sierra Papa. I would like a standard weather briefing for a VFR flight. It's a Cessna 172. We'll de be departing Golf Mike Uniform at 1800 Zulu. If you would give me the winds at both three and 6,000 feet, please. We'll be departing Golf Mike Uniform and flying direct to Charlie Alpha Echo, that's Columbia, South Carolina. We expect about an hour and 15 minutes en route. Okay, let's see. So, adverse conditions, it doesn't look like there's any air mets, sigmets, or convective sigmets along your route today. Um, as for TFRs, I don't see any TFRs out there either and no high reps along your route. Um, for the synopsis, it looks like there's high pressure dominating the area, and there's a cold front kind of to your northwest extending from Oklahoma to Ohio. Uh, let's see, current conditions. Gulf mic uniform, the wind 180 at five, visibility one zero. Sky conditions clear. Temperature 24, dew point 12, altimeter 3042. Charlie Alpha Echo, the wind 1708, visibility 10. Sky conditions clear. Temperature 26, dew point 11, altimeter 3040. Uh, for the forecasted conditions at Greenville Downtown, the wind seems it's probably going to stay out of the south, 180 at 6. Visibility greater than 6. Skies clear. Temperature 28, dew point 10. At Charlie Alpha Echo, the forecast uh, around your arrival uh, the wind 170 at 10. The visibility greater than 6. Skies clear. Temperature 28, dew point 10. For your winds aloft, let's see, GSP looks like 3,000 feet. Uh, the wind 240 at 10 and 6,000 feet the wind 280 at 20 and the temperature at 6,000 is plus 14 degrees Celsius. At Charlie Alpha Echo Columbia the wind 30240 at 10 and at 60290 at 15 temperature plus 15 degrees Celsius. As for notums I don't see any notums for your departure, destination, or en route. Uh, is there anything else I can help help you with today? Um, no, that'll be it. Thank you. Okay, pilot ports are requested. Thank you. Okay, so we got our weather briefing, and it looks like it's going to be a great VFR flight. Um, the wind's right of the south, so at quick glance, we already know we're going to have some sort of headwind when we're landing, but it looks like the winds aloft are going to be out of the southwest, and if we climb up a little bit higher, they look like they're more out of the west area. So just glancing at the winds, it looks like we would um, be better off if we climbed up to around 5,500 instead of staying lower at 3,500. So with our flight from Greenville to Columbia, South Carolina, uh, it looks like a more southeasterly course. So we have to choose an odd thousand plus 500 for our cross-country flight, and that rule, remember, begins once we're above 3,000 AGL. So once we're at, say, three or 4,000 feet, we're gonna have to comply with our odd 
1,000 plus 500 rule. It looks like there's about 90 miles or so between Greenville and Columbia, so I don't think it would be worth it to climb all the way up to 7,500 or 9,500. So I think we'll, we'll choose 5,500 for this flight.